everyone. My name is Miss Lisa for the Fayette County Public Library, and today I'm with John Hillman, who is the president of the Whitewater Valley Railroad. And we are here inside his shop where they do some restoration of some of the train cars and engines. And so we're going to have John tell us a little bit about how trains work and what they do here. So, John, tell us a little bit about your position and, and some of the things that the volunteers do here. Well, I've I'm the president and I've been with the railroad 50 years, believe it or not, <laughs> for quite a while. Was, I've been here since the very first year that uh, we were formed. But uh, we're all volunteers. We have one paid staff and that's our office manager. But everybody else, all the work that we do is done by volunteers. Now we do have to have contractors once in a while do some of the really major stuff. but. Uh, We've been here, like I said, for 50 years, and we're still going, and we get better every year. <laughs> okay, and so um, a lot of these trains are old, and they need fixing, right? Yeah, I hate to call them antiques, but that's basically what they are. Uh, this locomotive behind us was made, uh, I believe, 1950. Wow. And uh, most of them, ones we have, are in that age group. Mm -hmm. So it's pretty basic, They're pretty basic compared to what you have today. How many do you have here? Well, altogether? we have four that's in service. We have okay. some others that need work to be put back into service. But mm -hmm. We've got quite a variety. We've got them from, uh, I believe, five different makers. So we've got a good representation of, of diesel locomotives oh, to cool. makers. Okay, so these are diesel engines? This one behind me was made in Lima, Ohio. Okay. It's called a Lima Hamilton. And that's because the engine itself inside the locomotive was made in Hamilton, Ohio. So it was one of the early locomotive builders. But they got in the game too late and they didn't last very long. Mm -hmm. And this uh, one behind us is going to be in service, we hope, this year. We have another one just exactly, almost exactly like it, a Lima Hamilton, that we use every week. Mm -hmm and uh, it's our pride and joy. Awesome. Okay, so I know nothing about how these um, engines or these locomotives work, so can you maybe take us back and show us some of the parts of a, of a train? Right, and, and everything here, when I try to compare it to a car, <laughs> it's hard to compare because everything is huge. Cool. Everything around the railroad is big and heavy and dirty. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm excited to go see it because let's, let's see well, what we let's, can have here. Let's start down about the middle. Okay. We'll start here at the front of the engine and point out some of the parts. And everything here is big compared to say like your automobile. Right here is the radiator to keep the engine cool just like in your car. There's one on this side and there's one on the other side. And then there's a huge fan on top, it's just like in your automobile. But these are cooled by water. So they feed water to the, uh, what we call the prime mover, really the, the engine of the locomotive. Hmm. And this one I believe is an eight cylinder, but the cylinders are huge. Hmm. The cylinders are bigger than this pipe wow. compared to your car. Now this, this locomotive isn't real powerful, it's uh, a thousand horsepower, but it's diesel, it uses diesel fuel. At the end of the locomotive, at the end of the prime mover, is this huge generator. Wow. And that's what is turned by the engine. And it turns the generator and makes electricity. Okay. Now down here, on the wheels, there's a big motor on the axle, on each axle. This is a four axle locomotive, so there's four motors. The generator provides electricity for the motor. The motor turns the axle, which is the wheels, and propels the locomotive. It's pretty basic, it's, it's really pretty basic. And here at the end of the generator, also hooked to the whole thing, is an air compressor. Wow. The air compressor makes the air for the train and it'll be set at around 90 pounds per square inch. And that's what all the cars are connected together by brake hoses, air hoses, and that's okay. what you use to brake the uh, train. <clears throat> hmm. Cool. So what, what's this down here? Now down here is just a typical battery 
And you can see how large everything in a, at the railroad is large. And um, I can't tell you how much that weighs. You can't, you, there's no way you can lift it by yourself. <laughs> oh, wow. But uh, this engine, I believe, weighs about 120 ton, the, the total wow. locomotive. And that's small. That's hmm. small. So hmm. this, this one we're trying to restore. And we have a sister engine that's pretty close to being the same. And they're the only two in the United States that will be serviceable. Wow. The one we use now is the only one in the whole United States. It's called a Lima Hamilton. Hmm. And this is why we wanted to get this one well, yeah. restored. So it helps us be well known around the United States. Cool. Well, can we get up inside the cab and sure see can. what's going on up there? Awesome. Okay, this is inside the cab where the engineer sits and controls the locomotive and the train. You can't see this very well, but this lever here is the throttle. And that's just like the accelerator in your car. You move this throttle and it'll speed up or slow down the car. All these other levers, this, this top one is the brake. And this is what you use to control the train with. Now the smaller level, lever down here is also a brake handle, but it only controls the locomotive. So say the locomotive is just going down the track by itself, you, you would use this one. Okay. This one, I believe, is the sander, which puts sand down on the track in front of the wheels to give it traction when it's needed, like going up a steep grade or mm -hmm. rain. And the other handle is the bell, which will <laughs> ring the bell. And you have all kind of gauges that lets you know what's going on with the locomotive. Mm -hmm. The cabinet here in front is all the electrical equipment. Wow. That's all relays. It's high voltage. You don't ever want to stick your hand in it. No. <laughs> it, it would light you up. <laughs> wow. All right, here we are inside of a passenger train or passenger, passenger car. car. Okay. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about, about these cars that you have. Well, this uh, car here is called a combine. Okay. And that's because it's a combination passenger car and baggage car. Through that door at the other end mm -hmm. is the baggage compartment. Okay. And, uh, well, that's what it was used for, baggage. <laughs> baggage. And this was a, basically an old commuter car. It took people to work. And it was from the east, east coast, I believe this one was. Mm -hmm. But you can see the old basic lumber, or uh, lumber. <laughs> luggage <laughs> luggage racks okay and the cars of course were not air conditioned in those days right the windows we call these open window cars because the windows uh, will open open up yeah and um, this is one that we use quite often mm-hmm and it looks like the the leather or the outside of this is all brand new had you guys refinished <laughs> these? a lot of these these seats are new and these seats most of them will flip they called them walkover seats, and uh, if the passenger wanted to look forward and his seat was facing backwards, uh -huh. he would just flip the seat. Oh, that's really <laughs> cool. Okay, so now here at the Whitewater Valley Railroad, you guys use these trains often, right? And uh, you have lots of events here. Can you tell us about some of those? Well, we have several of them, but uh, the next one will be the pumpkin train. Okay. Where it's just a short ride, but we take you down to the pumpkin patch, and you get to pick up a pumpkin. Cool. And then we have Polar Express, which is our main mm -hmm. event. That's that's the big one. Okay. And uh, it sells out every year. Wow. And it's so that's the month of December then or it starts in November. Okay. And ends the week before Christmas. And like I said it sells out and we could I'm sure sell more tickets. Mm -hmm. But your volunteers, you don't want to wear them out. <laughs> right, right. So it takes you all the way to Metamora, is that right? No, no. Oh, no, okay. We go down to the North Pole, which is down about eight miles. Go down to the North Pole. And Fascinating. It's, it's, we, we build a North Pole down there, and it's really? down in the middle of nowhere. So you can't see it from the roads or any place. Huh, I did not know but, that. Uh, what mainly happens, it's a takeoff on the book, okay. Polar Express, and mm -hmm. the movie. I don't mm -hmm. know if you've seen the movie. I have. And... Uh, it's 
it's a franchise deal, you know, mm. and it's franchised by Warner Brothers and Rail Events. <laughs> and uh, we have a huge gift shop, all Polar Express merchandise, which you can't buy anyplace else. And uh, it's fun. Yeah, I, and, I can imagine. So that, that's what makes it so interesting. We, we have really good luck with volunteers on the Polar Express because you see these families come and a lot of them dress in pajamas. Oh, sure. The whole family will be dressed in pajamas. That's neat. So. Well, you do a great job here with all these events. It's really fun. All right, so we have entered another locomotive. What? Tell us about this guy. Well, this is the one we use almost every weekend. Okay. And it was made in 1951. It's a Lima Hamilton, just like the one we saw in the shop. Uh -huh. And it's been restored and we actually rebuilt the engine several years ago. We got this engine from Arthur Steel. They donated it and we got a trove of parts. You can't yes. buy these parts in the post office. But we'll be locked out and uh -huh. we still got all kinds of parts. The control panel has all the gauges that tells you what's going on with the engine. And lets the engineer know all that he needs to know. Mm -hmm. And you couldn't see it in the other one, but this is the throttle. Push the button on the end. Oh, yeah. And it'll move farther. Oh, it goes this way. Yep. There it goes. Well, we don't have the reverser in it. Gotcha. This, cool. This is the reverser. This is a okay. like a key. And it goes in here. One way it's reversed, the other way it's full. Very so, basic. So I'm sitting in the engineer's seat? Is that what I'm doing? You are. You uh, can see straight down the track. I'm not wearing the right outfit, though, am I? No, well, <laughs> you might be able to sell you one of those. Okay, yeah, I can see you right down the track, right? And so as we're going down the track, I will play with all these levers and levers and buttons. And you got it. All right. Well, John, thank you so much for showing us all things about the train and what you guys do here at the Whitewater um, Valley Railroad. And um, I'm Miss Lisa for Science Isn't Scary Out and About. Now, before I go, can I, can I catch this red you thing? sure can. Can I? It's going to be loud, right? It's loud. All right. <laughs> Woo! Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay. <laughs>